Hello everybody, my name is Luke Marr and this is Hot La Mode and today on Hot La Mode we are coming to you with a little Say Yes to the Dress reaction video, but we're looking at teenage brides. Why do you get married so young? What is it about this man that you met in high school that says, let me spend the rest of my life with him? Being young, dumb, and in love, it's for everybody. Equity, equality, stupidity for all. In reality, we're not going to judge them too harshly. We're going to judge them a little bit. So without that, but before we get into the video, I just want to say a huge shout out to today's sponsor who is BetterHelp. Thank you to BetterHelp for sponsoring today's video. BetterHelp is the world's largest therapy service and it's 100% online. With BetterHelp, you can tap into a network of over 30,000 licensed and experienced therapists who can help you with a wide range of issues. To get started, you just answer a few questions about your needs and preferences in therapy. And BetterHelp can match you with a professional therapist in as little as a few days. Then you talk to your therapist however you feel comfortable, whether it's via a text, chat, phone, or video call. You can message your therapist at any time and schedule live sessions when it's convenient for you. I mean, I've been doing therapy for years now and I've used my phone as my means of communicating with my therapist, which is so convenient and in case something comes up, and for me, something always comes up, there's no last minute mad dashes to in-person appointments and even better, no mulling about in uncomfortable waiting rooms. And as I always say, therapy in the beginning is like dating. You have to be able to click with your therapist, but if your therapist isn't the right fit for any reason at all, you can switch to a new therapist at no additional charge. With BetterHelp, you get the same professionalism and quality you expect from in-office therapy, but with a therapist who is custom-picked for you, more scheduling flexibility as well, and at a much more affordable price. So get 10% off your first month at betterhelp.com slash hotlamode, or by clicking the link in my description box below. And with that, thank you better help and let's get on with the video. Let's watch Teen Bride wants a dress to make her look elegant and mature. Maybe if you wait a little bit longer you would be a little bit more mature at least but okay. Oh we're in the UK. Got it. I'm Isabel Jackson. I'm 18. What about the plain skirt? I'm, no. 18. I'm sorry like a mat. I can't think about me getting married at 18. I feel Sorry for the people that had to deal with me and I wasn't married to anybody. You have to be like incredibly mature, I think, to get married. I mean, you don't have to be, I guess, technically, but you should be incredibly mature at that age to get married, I would say, because I'm not knocking people that get married that young, you know what I mean? Like, I'm joking, I'm saying stupidity things. I don't really mean that. Like, do whatever you want with your life. I don't really care that much, honestly. Like, I'm on the clock. But at the same time, I think going into making that decision, you should be thinking about it a lot harder and you should be making sure that the person that you are trying to be with, somebody that you really want to work through any relationship kinks, issues, troubles, just getting married to somebody straight out and not really thinking it all the way through, I would question that. Only because it's like for your safety, for their safety, for opportunities in life and things like that, it's important to really make sure that you are in a good place and they're in a good place. I've had a few raised eyebrows at the fact of me getting married at this age, but surprisingly it hasn't been from anyone that's close to me. Okay, you know what, Luke, just shut up. Stop saying things. She looks old. I think it'd be a bit boring for you. I found oh, I love her. I think it'd be a bit boring for you. And I really want to show others that age doesn't matter when it comes to that. The English do seem to get married kind of young, though. No, and stay away from that. <laughs> yes. Teen brides often have to justify David to marry so young. And when it comes to wedding dress shopping, their choices are also under a lot of scrutiny. Hello there, where's my Scrutiny. lovely bride today? Hi, it's Hello. Me. <laughs> I'm Isabel. Isabel, nice to meet you. And who have you brought with you today? I brought my mother, my bridesmaid, Shawnee, Hello. and my grandmother. Oh, I've got three oh, generations. A bit of granny. A bit of nanny. Oh, granny and nanny. I'm 18 just last week. Oh 18. my god, That's last so week. She's very young, isn't she? Yes, but very much in love. Oh. She who yes. is the lucky guy? It's Rio. Right. And I met him when we were 12. My family okay. has timeshare in Spain. He was singing in a talent competition and slowly he began to learn English in school. I began to learn. So I'm not saying that she looks 43. She looks a little bit more mature. Rio, Rio looks like 
a sophomore in high school. And slowly he began to learn English in school. I began to learn a little bit of Spanish. And it just became this amazing friendship. I'm getting married in Italy. Oh, how nice. Oh, wow. It provides okay. the perfect backdrop to this romantic story we have. Nice first time. And this will influence my dress. I want Italian lace, fitted, just something very elegant and mature. It's not too okay. much bling. What is our budget for today? I like this. I like Ooh, the not too much sorry, I've got bling. Some bit to play with today. Yeah. So I'm going to get you That's off to good. the changing room. Ladies, I'm going to get ask you to sit down. And I need to do a bit of shopping. Brilliant. Isabel may be a teen. I do like the idea exactly of a, a lace moment. It never it's hurts. Very soft lace, very sophisticated. A slim fitted like lace club. gown that makes her feel all okay. grown up. Look at that slit going up there. I do like there. the slit. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's not Don't too saucy. Netting. I love this. Mm -hmm. And I love the line here. Personally. It's beautiful. And the lace is just exquisite. Okay, I mean, that is... <laughs> oh. She looks good. <laughs> okay. She looks good. All right, let's talk about it. Listen, I actually like the way that it's done. I think, again, if you're going to be marrying this young, it's like... Do it, have fun with it, like enjoy it. I like the fact that it's lace, but it's a lot more modern. I mean, even that slash that sort of comes in from around the back, sort of along the waist, and it has the lace sort of detailing so that it's still kind of sexy. It still sort of shows a little bit of body, but it's not showing the whole of the body. It does have some sort of coverage, but it's alluding to the fact that there is skin underneath there, which I think is cool. I also think a slit in a wedding dress is not something we often see. I think it's very kind of rare, I would say, unless you're doing a very chill. In New York, what happens is you have a lot of courthouse weddings, so people wear much more utilitarian and much more sort of casual wedding dresses when you're doing those kinds of things because you have to walk into the courthouse, you know, you have to go through security, you gotta, you know, kneel down, I think, and, you know, say I do in front of people. It's like a little office, at least when I've been. So I feel like this is much more modern, much more sort of, I would say, 21st century idea of a wedding dress than I would say the traditional sort of big bouffant gown or mermaid skirt and all that jazz. But I like it. I think it's cool. <laughs> I'm looking at Mum's face in the background. <laughs> well, tell me exactly what you're thinking. The slashes and the fabric. I'm sorry, it looks cheap. Okay, Mum, Alexander McQueen, an icon, always did slashes and dresses. They didn't look cheap. They just showed a lot of body. That's not cheap. Your body is not cheap. Unless your body is cheap, in which case, that's a you problem. But I don't like that. Oh, it's cheap because it shows the body. I'm not a prude, but I just don't think it's right for a wedding dress. I love that. I think that looks beautiful on her. Listen, does it feel a little bit prom dress? Sure. But at the same time, I think that it's a nice dress, like with the veil and all that. I love the way that the lace sort of trims along the slit and also the train of the dress. Like, it's a cute looking dress. It's not holla, you know what I mean? It's not working, girl in that way. I don't really see what we're saying here. I don't think it's the dress for you, darling. What is it that you don't like? It's not as bridal. What do you think, Sean? I think it's pretty pointless. The leg thing is that you, you, you don't want to dress it's like that. I actually like this. I like the cheeky kind of... I like that. You don't need to be that obvious. That's the word, it's too obvious. Oh, dear. I know it's a bit overly sexy. This dress unfortunately is a definite no for me because there's just too many negatives. Yeah, the negatives are sitting in the room with us. They're the haters. All Can right, fine, let's, let's do it. Yes, I'm upset. Yes. I like that dress. I like the idea of the dress. So we're not loving this dress, are we, at all? Yeah. Isabel's family thought the leg split in the last dress was too revealing, so we're sticking with the lace fishtail silhouette. OK. Got this one with the sleeves. But going for a more modest look. It is. It's this nice. It's beautiful. This or here, that's the pattern I love. I kind of want to know what they think. Oh, I like the backless element as well. The silhouette's nice. It's fitted. It feels a little bit more bridal. I like the sleeves. I don't know what's going through your head. This is so beautiful and it's so... I love the godets. They're gorgeous. And the way that the lace just sits in the center of the godet and it moves itself down, it's really, really... It's nice. Even the sleeve, I get it. I like it. I like the fact that the lace sort of continues throughout, but it's not super dense. 
I like the shape, the front of it. It's a cute dress. But I don't like the arms at all. Okay, or you could do cap sleeve. It looks like you've got you could do no sleeve. wrinkly skin. It's not fitted. Like you've got some sort of skin disease. It's not fitted, people. Even I know that. Not an image you want in your head when you're saying your vows. As soon as she said that, the sleeves were <laughs> not in the equation anymore. I think we have an unanimous decision here that everybody really doesn't like you with the sleeves. No. I don't know, but I'll do. I want to please my entourage. So. Thick the entourage is what I say. So let me go, I'm going to stick you in this lovely lace dress. Teen bride Isabel's first dress was too sexy for her family. Her second, too covered up. And then you've got that beautiful All right, mama bear, neckline. papa bear. You've got all that We're looking for the baby bear. The sparkle going on. Just right. She's struggling to strike a balance between looking grown up whilst keeping her youthful spirit. All right, my darling. David Emanuel's funny. This sleeveless sheath does both. OK. So, look at that big smile. I, <laughs> I do like the little floral <laughs> detail so that sort of comes up. Than the others. I love the shape. The, like, yeah, a little foliage. Kind of it's like olive branches. It's beautiful. OK, olive branch. She said, listen, I'm going to equate it back to Italy. Very smart. I like it. Oh, is he? Oh, good. Oh. Oh, I love that overlay. The lace overlay is beautiful. It's like, I can't. I'm speechless. You're speechless? Yeah. I don't want to feel like I'm a dress-up princess because I'm only 18. I want to feel mature, and I feel mature. Should we turn you That's around? That's good. I like that. I think that that works. Mum, how do you feel seeing your baby girl? Wow, she looks beautiful. I think she looks stunning. Absolutely gorgeous. <laughs> she's glowing. Good job, I think Mom. it looks Proud like she's you. just put on another skin, which is making her sparkle. I'm Yay. so happy. The shape just suits your figure. Perfectly sparkle. Beautiful. I really love it. So how much is this dress? Hmm. It is £1,995 and it's Dando London. Oh collection. good. Peasy. Peasy. Lemon One squeezy. Veil, 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 veil. It's veil, only veil. a wedding dress. Aw, she looks lovely. She looks beautiful. I like that dress a lot. Be young, but Thinks it looks the most gorgeous on her. She looks stunning. Beautiful. I think it captures like the modernity with the maturity. Yeah. When you see oh, your daughter so in a wedding dress and with a veil on, you, you realize then that they've grown up and it just melts my heart. Are you saying Aww. yes to the dress? Yes. Yay! Yay! Yay, good. Okay, happy. Wonderful. Since I got life is nice. I felt like I'm no longer a teenager and me and my fiance we've I just wanna know if they're still married at the end, you know what I mean? Incredible to realize I'm going to spend the rest of my life for this person. Yay, I'm good. Happy okay, happy. happy. All right, let's watch 17-year-old bride leaves Monty and Lori shocked. Oh 17's young. Hi, who's my bride? I am. My name is Listen. If she still has braces, she's too young for you, bro. You know what I mean? Like, Jersey Shore said it best. You're young, you're young. It's Kara Cosby, I live in Dallas, Texas. I don't want to say exclusively that in the southern part of the United States, it's a little bit youthful in terms of marriages. In New York, you get married when you're 412. This place ages you. And you don't get married earlier. I'm so intrigued. Yeah, with you. I brought my dad, my stepmom, okay. my sister, my biological mom, my grandmother, my step grandmother, my half sister. And my okay, that's here. a lot of people. Just saying. Like a young bride. How old are you? <laughs> I'm 17. 17 is crazy. Interesting. The music, the background music. Funny looks from people when I say that I'm 17 and I'm wedding dress shopping. Dad, how do you feel about everything? I couldn't have picked a, a better young man for Kara. Okay. My fiance's name is Reese Remar. We met at church, and right off the okay. bat, we were just friends. And then as time progressed, he asked my dad for permission to court me. Courting. I don't know if I love courting culture. I think it's a fun thing to look at when you're talking about Victorian England today. Sometimes it works and that's great and that's wonderful. And other times I say, mm, 
are we giving these young people the tools that they need and the ability to explore options for themselves? I don't think so, but that's just my personal opinion. You don't enter into the relationship unless you can see marriage later on down the line. The difference between courting and dating is just the fact that the fiance basically dates the whole family. He's done very well with sticking to the guidelines that my wife and I have laid out for him. Okay. I mean, I actually have never kissed before. I am saving my first kiss till the day that we get married. Okay. I think it's very I respect sweet. That. Are you wanting something a little bit more conservative? Or... Yes. <laughs> I was thinking like <laughs> sleeves to here. <laughs> <laughs> No. We have a saying that says, no alleys, no valleys, no cleavage, and no uh, low-cut jeans. And Keep it to yourself, you know what I mean? You don't wear valleys, you don't wear alleys. If you would like to wear low-cut jeans, sir, be my guest, you know what I mean? I'm not going to yuck somebody's yum. But I just don't really understand the culture of disregarding what people should wear. I just, I don't, I don't really, I don't understand. I find it fascinating what people, I would say in more conservative circles wear. I do think it's very intriguing, but I also look at it and I say, not for me, not for me. I also am not gonna go tell them, don't wear a potato sack that's made out of denim because it makes you look like you're wearing a potato sack made out of denim. So I hope that we also don't tell people, please don't wear certain things because I don't like it or it makes me uncomfortable. Like that's a you problem, you figure that out. You go to church, you talk to God and tell him that you feel uncomfortable. And I'm sure God probably would say, hey, listen, that's a you thing. You know what I mean? Talk to me, talk to your therapist, we'll figure it out. But don't put that on other people because love thy neighbor as you love thyself, you know what I mean? I went to church every week, uh, I know. And what is the budget for the dress? 2,000 or less. Okay. Okay. Kara's fiance bad, has to stick to dad's price. rules. And I have no doubt that the dress has to stick to his rules as well. All right, let's go. I am intrigued. Kara is heavily influenced by her dad's values. So I'm going to start in an A-line dress with the beaded bodice and lace okay. straps that her father picked. So let me have you turn around and take a look at it. Wait, I'm dead. Because look, you can tell that they hiked this dress up in the front because the straps are so incredibly pulled back. So what they did is in the front, they tucked it up so that there is no cleavage. But in reality, the dress wasn't really made to look like that. The dress was made, I'm sure, to show off a little bit of the girls. But what they did here is they're trying to raise it and then they'll alter it later so that it has a much higher neckline. It's much more conservative. Take a look at it. I really like the embellishment. What do you think? I do like the, the cut. I think it's nice. Oh, look. I do think it's a nice, it looks nice. I like the sort of layers of the lace paneling. Dad, do you like this dip? I didn't realize that it was gonna be that cut down. It's one thing that you don't want everything out on your child, I get that, I completely understand it, but like, that is not revealing. And or quote, that low, not low. Not low at all. She's getting married to a man. I don't like this man. What do you think? It's too low, like I don't like the V. That's not a V. I mean like if it's a V, it's a lowercase V. It is not a deep plunge. Hi, I'm Lauren. There's my girl. You There's sure my girl. You look young. I'm 17. Excuse me? <laughs> wow. Monty is that girl.com. That's a little young, no? V. She graduated high school early. She is a college student now. Tell us what you're looking for, Kara. No one's liking the dip. Too revealing. Yeah. If we're ever gonna get a yes out of this family, we have to find a dress that's conservative in the neckline, but still youthful. Put her in a lace sack, I mean. So to satisfy the bride's conservative father, consultant Flo has pulled a lace fit and flare gown with a Yeah, I like this one a lot better. I love the lace, just thought it was really, really um, pretty and elegant. But I have a question. Like the body can be that sort of fitted, but the neckline is the prop. I'm just genuinely intrigued because I would presume that if that amount of the bust area showing is too much of an issue, but the fact that it's fitted and showing off the curves of the waist and the, the bust and the bosom and the buttocks, that's not, like, I'm trying to understand, I guess, the logic. Oh, never mind. I really like the top and I like the way it fits. What do you think, Dad? 
I knew it. I knew that. I was like, there's no way. That mermaid fit that comes down right after the hips is uh, a little bothersome about it. OK, well, express yourself. Use words. I don't think Dad's ready to see his daughter looking Ooh. like a grown up. Eat him up, Monty. Kara, tell us what you think. But see, like, that's the thing, too, is I don't know. Maybe they edited it to look like that, but, like, it's weird. In the dressing room, she liked it, and then her dad says no, and then she's like, nah, I don't like it. Somebody sounds a little bit controlling. I think we've got one more shot here, and we've all got to say a little prayer. My God, I've never waited on such a young family. You're looking real old. Ah. That's my girl, Lori. She knows, she knows what's good. But all of the embellishments on the bodice have enough sparkle to enchant a young bride. I like this one. I love all of the embellishment on the top. I could totally tell you love all of the embellishment by the tone of your voice. It is honestly, I think, the most excited I've ever heard somebody sound, ever. A little bit of a dip, but not enough to show anything. So on a scale of one to 10, what do you give this? Like a seven and a half. Kara likes this dress. But something tells me that she is not gonna admit to loving this dress unless her family approves. Don't love this dress. Just I like that. Just oh. out there. I'm speechless at this point because she looks just beautiful. Yeah. Stop letting men make choices. I know, I know, I know, I get it. I get it, but like, stop. You know what I mean? Like that's the dress you like a it's still fitted b it shows the neck and c it's not very attractive i normally do not do that but like finally a dress that dad likes now all we gotta do is get this young woman i'm unhappy oh good well i'm happy that she is happy did we make it to a 10 if she's happy i think that so is i feel like a bride in this dress <laughs> So you're saying what to the stress? Yes. Yeah. Oh, that's enough clapping. I'm done now. So that is our adventure into teenage. Say yes to the dress land. Still a little young for me, but to each. My favorite dress, the first chosen dress of Isabel. I thought that it was nice with the lace and the detail and she kind of could see it working for Italy. So that was fun. Obviously the last dress that we just saw bad no 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 thank you i'm so sorry i apologize that is it i hope you guys enjoyed thank you so much for watching i will see you guys in the next video and ttyl